What's up everybody, Cruz Ramos here with Dungeon Boxing Club. Today I got my son Christian with me and we're going to be demonstrating on how to make and use the Wrecking Ball. So today I want to just kind of go over the, this piece of equipment that we use here at Dungeon Boxing Club. Now this piece of equipment isn't original to our club. I actually saw this on the YouTube channel by The Punch Professor. I'm going to go ahead and link his video down in the description. That way you guys can see where I got the idea from. Um, but I just wanted to show it because this, this piece of equipment has really been a blessing to our club. Uh, we use it to teach our fighters how to uh, punch and move the head at the same time. As you know when you're in a fight, your opponent's not going to stand still. Still. So once you're done throwing your punches, your opponent's going to throw them back at you. So it's important that you're throwing those jabs, straight rights at an angle, that you're moving your head constantly. Uh, but before we get into that, I'm going to just show you what it took to make this piece of equipment. Uh, very simple, very simple. What we got here is I got the uh, the 10 by 12, I believe, speed bag. I just ordered this off of Tidal.com. Uh, we got a speed bag swivel. And then what I got here is a 4x4 four four, uh, piece of plywood. So that's 4 feet by 4 feet. Um, all I did was put the uh, install the swivel right in the center of the, the plywood. I hung a piece of rope. Uh, it's approximately about 12 inches. And just tied that to the ball. And then I just wrapped some tape around the rope just to sturdy it a little bit. Um, as you can see, it comes out once it's hit, it comes right to the edge of the board on each side. So a very, very good piece of equipment to have. And I recommend all boxing clubs should have this piece of equipment in their gym. So we're going to have Christian here demonstrate on how we use the wrecking ball here at Dungeon Boxing Club. Uh, one thing that's important and what it teaches you is moving that head while you're throwing your punches. Okay, so if I'm throwing a jab, which is what we're going to demonstrate here first, and my opponent's jab is longer than mine, or he's faster than mine, and we throw that jab at the same time, if I leave my head in this position, I'm open to getting hit. He's going to hit me first. Chances are because of his longer reach and his quicker speed. But if I throw my jab with the head movement, I could possibly hit him while avoiding his punch as it flies over my shoulder here. So Christian, why don't you show us real quick, throwing the jab, what it looks like without the head moving. Okay, you see that he kept his head in the same position, and what he did is, uh, once he hit, the, he, he threw his jab, his opponent jabbed back at him and hit him. So the wrecking ball teaches you how to move your head while you're throwing that jab. So go ahead and throw it with the head movement. Good job. And, and, and same thing with the right hand. Throw that right hand without the head movement. Good. If his opponent's throwing straight rights with him and his opponent's got that longer reach, he's going to hit him. Okay? So go ahead and throw it with the right hand. With the head movement. Good job. You see that head movement, it sets you up to throw in other punches, whether you're going to the body or you're going to throw a, a hook. Okay? But if you're just standing there, you're going to get hit. You're not going to be able to throw much after that. So go ahead and go throw the one-two with the head. Good. Once again. So that's the wrecking ball. I hope this video was informative for you. If you have any questions, please drop a comment in the video. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. Also, if you do me a huge favor, if you would hit that like button, hit that share button, and we'll be back next week with another video.